are going to change the EVAP purge solenoid on 2008 Impala, which is right here. Um, this part uh, releases gases from the EVAP system. Um, you can find it underneath the car. Uh, it's actually in the back here. It's underneath that fender. Uh, I'm going to grab a flashlight and show you. Uh, but the symptoms of needing this to be replaced are um, on the code reader would be P0455, uh, which is an EVAP large leak. Um, this part, actually, you can kind of tell if it's bad is if you get a message on the information center uh, that states, you know, tighten gas cap, and you tighten the gas cap or you buy a new gas cap, and it still has that message after three or four times, and it finally puts on the check engine light. Um, then that means this valve is bad. Um, you can actually hear the valve once in a great while. It'll click on and off a couple times uh, to release the gases. Um, and I haven't heard this clicking and the valve is in the car in a long time. So we're going to crawl underneath, and I'll show you where the valve is. Okay, so we're under the car. This is actually the back bumper. And I'm going to shine the light up here and show you. That's the valve right there. Um, it's got one retaining bolt holding it on and then it kind of slides off. Um, here's the hose that I showed you. And this hose actually goes all the way up to right there. And there's the bolt holding that on. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just slide that out right there. That just slides this way. Because uh, you can just wiggle it right out of there. But that bolt right there is the only thing holding it on and it is a little surface rusty so I'm gonna kinda wipe it off and spray it and uh, thankfully the part came with the whole bracket came with everything so I'm gonna take this part off and replace it hopefully that code will go away okay so we got the old valve out and actually, the way it sits underneath that car uh, would be like this, if you're looking up at it. And we actually were looking at it from like that. But if you look at the top of it, I just wanted to show you, this was the uh, retaining bolt. Actually, you know what? I'm, yeah, is that right? Or was it like that? I think it was like that. No, the bolt was down. Okay. That's the way it was. Uh, there's the hole where the retaining bolt was. Um, but basically what I did is, when it was up there, I hit it with a uh, PB blaster, which is a uh, penetrating wheel. And all these little clips where it was kind of held on there, I hit it with this PB blaster, including the bolt. So when I loosened the bolt, it just kind of actually fell right out. Um, the only thing that was left to do was pull the connector, which is right there, it just snaps right in. And remember that hose that went along the bottom connected to a rubber hose right there, and actually that just slid right onto these notches right there. So as you can see, this thing is pretty salt covered. Um, it's actually kind of rusted a little too. But uh, there's the new valve. We're going to try popping that in there. Uh, but I'm going to clean that bolt up first before I put it in there. Okay, before I tighten this all up, I just want to show you. Uh, there's the new valve, okay, right there. Uh, it slides on that little bracket right there. There's the bolt. Um, I probably would have got this done a lot faster, but I lost this bolt in the driveway, and it took me about a half an hour to find it. So. Do it on a garage floor or something, so you at least find your friggin' bolt when you lose it. But what I did is, if you can see this right here, I loosened this bracket, and it made it a little easier to loop it around and behind the fuel filler neck. Um, without it, it was going to be a really tight fit, and once I got it through this bracket, I was able to connect it to that rubber hose, very easy. Uh, ran it back through connected it up as you can see here's the electrical connector hanging that's gonna go if you can see 
right where that is right there we're gonna plug that in uh, and I'm gonna tighten that bolt tighten that bolt and this evap solenoid will be installed and I'll shoot a little bit after I'm done tightening up all these bolts just that one right there and which this one actually holds it on really well when that comes loose this thing falls right out so uh, and this one, which holds the fuel filler, fuel filler neck, and uh, the uh, hose that connects to the solenoid, which is right there. Okay, so we connected the connector here, bolted that up flush, bolted that up there. All right, and make sure that little rubber. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's in there to prevent wear from vibration. We connected that hose, bolted it back up to the bracket, put that connector back in. It's that little blue thing right there. And the new EVAP solenoid control valve is installed. And that's how you install an EVAP control pressure solenoid on a 2008 which also covers 2006 to 2011 uh, Chevy Impala